peptic ulcers are sores that form on the lining of your esophagus, stomach, or duodenum. Your esophagus is the tube that carries food from your mouth down to your stomach. The duodenum is the upper part of your small intestine. Peptic ulcers that form on the lining of your esophagus are called esophageal ulcers. Ulcers that form on the lining of your stomach are called gastric ulcers, and ulcers that form on the lining of your duodenum are called duodenal ulcers. The two most common types of peptic ulcers are gastric and duodenal ulcers. Peptic ulcers are often caused by bacteria called H. pylori. The bacteria is found in many people's stomachs, but it only causes ulcers in some people. In some cases, the H. pylori infection irritates the stomach lining. The lining may then be more prone to damage from normal stomach acids. H. pylori may also increase the amount of acid in the stomach. Another common cause of ulcers is a type of medicine called NSAIDs. NSAIDs stand for nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Over time, they can damage the mucus that protects the lining of your stomach. Long-term use or high doses of NSAIDs may raise your risk for developing ulcers. Many people take NSAIDs, but not everyone who takes them gets a peptic ulcer. Tobacco and alcoholic beverages use may also increase your risk of peptic ulcers. Each person's symptoms may vary. In some cases, ulcers don't cause any symptoms. The most common symptom of a peptic ulcer is described as a burning, sharp, or dull pain in your upper abdomen or chest. With a gastric ulcer, your pain may get worse when you eat. If you have a duodenal ulcer, you may feel better after eating, but the pain may get worse a few hours later. The pain may awaken you from sleep, be relieved by food or antacids, last for a few weeks, then stop for weeks or months, and then resume. Other symptoms of a peptic ulcer include bloating, nausea, and vomiting. One complication is internal bleeding. It can cause black, tarry stools or vomiting that looks like coffee grounds. The bleeding may be severe enough to cause shock. Shock is a dangerous condition. It happens when there isn't enough blood flow throughout the body. It can cause many organs to stop working. A person with shock needs medical help right away. Another complication is perforation, which is a hole in the stomach or duodenum. It causes sudden, severe pain that starts in the upper abdomen and can move to the right shoulder. This is also a serious condition that needs medical help right away. It is important to diagnose the cause of a peptic ulcer. Tell your healthcare provider about your symptoms and about the medicines you take, including those you get over the counter without a prescription. Your provider may test blood, breath, or stool for the H. pylori bacteria. Your healthcare provider may also want to look inside your stomach and duodenum. That can be done using a type of X-ray called an upper gastrointestinal GI series. Another procedure that may be used is an upper GI endoscopy. It is also known as esophageal gastroduodenoscopy, or EGD. It is a common approach for diagnosing ulcers. In this procedure, a flexible lighted tube is put down your esophagus. The tube contains a camera that allows your healthcare provider to see the inside of your stomach and duodenum. Sometimes a tissue sample, called a biopsy, is taken during the upper endoscopy. Your healthcare provider may prescribe one or more medicines. Some medicines reduce stomach acid and protect the lining of your stomach and duodenum. One type is a proton pump inhibitor, or PPI, another type is histamine 2 or H2 blocker. An antacid called bismuth subsalicylate may also be used. If H. pylori is found in your stomach, you may be given one or more antibiotics to kill the bacteria. You may also be given medicines to coat the ulcers and protect them from stomach acid. If your ulcer was caused by an NSAID, you might need to stop taking it and switch to another medicine. Your provider 
may tell you to take a smaller dose or take a PPI or H2 blocker with the NSAIDs. It is important to take only the medicines you are told to take, keep taking them as directed even if they goes away. With treatment, an ulcer may heal within a few weeks. If your ulcer does not heal, or if you have serious complications, you may need surgery. Talk with your healthcare provider about the types of surgery that may work best for your needs. You may also be able to ease your symptoms by quitting smoking if needed, and cutting back on alcohol if you drink. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support us to learn more, thank you.